chicks are doing good. They're getting used to their new pen. They've been all over it. They'd like to lay in that little, those little bushes over there to keep cool. I've only seen a couple go in there. I don't think they really like that over this, but it's another hot day. I think it's around 90 degrees. It's also windy. I haven't had a windy day in a while, actually. Been enjoying that, then the wind comes back. But chicks are doing great. There's the little fluffy ones. We have a problem. I have multiple chickens out of the pen. They keep getting out. I think there's like seven or eight out. Those guys and a lot of leggerns. The leggerns, I know how they get out. They fly out, but the other ones, all their wings are clipped. So, I've found a couple holes in the fence, under the fence, so that the chickens can get out, but I filled them in. So, go figure out how these guys are getting out. I can all lead them back in the pen when I feed them, but they just slowly get back out. They come hang out in the horse stalls. crazy how smart the chickens can be i just walked in the pen and one chicken came up to me but they know it's feeding time i'm gonna feed them in just an hour and none of them came but they know when it's time to eat there's a redneck i got an injured chicken i don't know what's wrong with her leg i felt of it and it feels okay but She's limping around on it. I put her in here with Reggie. I've also been trying to get Reggie to be nicer or more calm around me, so. I taught him to jump up in the chair. He's the biggest rooster I have. I have noticed that the chickens are using the uh, dust bath hole I dug for him a lot more. Now that's getting hotter. Gotta clean the pools out again. And duck swimming no more. They also like to lay under there. So the chicks. Some of the chickens will come over here, wonder what these little tiny things are. I'm glad the incubator was a success. All of them were healthy. So our goal today is to catch the rooster in the barn, up in the hay barn. He was all the way down, like over in that area by the barns because, um. A chicken that got out of the pen lured him over there, so I'm gonna try to get a chicken to get him over there because he'll follow the chickens, but I'm gonna try to get him a feed, but he's hard to catch. I've tried. Plus, I don't know what he's drinking or eating because it's dry up there, so. And I know now it's not a rooster because I found its pile of eggs. That's why I didn't want to bring it down here because it was a, I thought it was a rooster because it's really tall and it looks like one. But, and I didn't want to put another rooster with the hens, so I'll just bring it down here. There's the, one of them has a mohawk. I'm going to try to start uploading more. I've been kind of slacking a little bit. We've been busy with the housework, putting the pool up and doing the deck around it and trying to figure out how to get the pool clean because it's been green well that was another failed attempt I was up there for about half an hour I brought the chicken up there that brought that chicken down uh, yesterday see if it'd follow it again but that chicken was just gonna hang up at the barn so I tried to catch it and almost did but it got out of my hands, so I don't know what it's going to take to get that chicken 
guess it's just going to stay up there. But we got to put some wire at the bottom of the pin or something to get all these chickens to stay in. Because I know these guys aren't flying out and clipped. I like that one. I clipped their wing. So try to get that chicken another day, I guess. There's the cat family over there. Little kitten's getting big already. Likes the dad more than it does the mom. I don't know what we're gonna do with this goat, if we're gonna keep him or... I don't know what we're gonna do with Louie because he gets his leg tangled up and he can't even reach his water right now go untangle his rope but it gets wrapped around his leg he probably won't let me get close enough but I don't know how he does it because it's just an open field I don't know how he what he gets it wrapped up on but you leave him out here for only like half an hour and his entire leg is wrapped around with the rope that goat's okay he behaves but that one is a little difficult the other hand is a good goat. He'll go around and eat all the grass. He never gets tangled up. He's the oldest too. I think he's like two and a half. Apples on this tree. This tree was doing pretty bad. It's doing a lot better now. But I got a few apples on it now. That tree, it's an apple tree too, but it kind of died and re-sprouted. Has a long ways to go. Our weeping willow's getting bigger. And now they're ready to eat. There's the broody hen, came and got some food, and now going back to the nest. I'm gonna try out some videos on this camera. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
we moved all three goats out there into the main field because it all the ropes and everything were just crazy in the other one. There's all the chicks. About to go to sleep. Got my basket. I'm gonna get the eggs, see what the production's like today. And here's Reggie and Redneck. No eggs in there. There hasn't been in a while. I'm sure Redneck's not sitting on any because I rarely get eggs from them. But cooled down quite a bit. Probably just below 80. I went in the hen house this afternoon and I need to restock the nest. Cleaning out this weekend probably. Some of the chickens have been laying on the ground and those are the dirtiest eggs. I'm thinking we need to get a new uh, rearrange the roost systems, maybe like stack them up like that because some of the chickens are on the ground and some of them are right here because they can't fit on the main roost. There's too many chickens. We got pretty good production today out of the chickens. See what I'm saying about the Broma hen? She'll be right sitting on eggs right there and sitting on eggs right here and then up on the top. So can't let her sit on them. Good production day. We got 24 eggs, two dozen. That's what it's been past couple days. <laughs> 